In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. And as we come together on this Tuesday of the ninth week in Ordinary Time, we return back to Ordinary Time to continue in our discipleship, all that we've learned through our Lenten season, through the Easter season, all the uh, works and teachings of Jesus, we begin to repeat them in this ordinary time so that we may become the disciples of today's world. And so as we come to these sacred mysteries, let us always call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's love, his mercy, and his peace. Lord Jesus, you came from the Father so that we can be one with him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, the Father gave us a spirit so we can be one with you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father and you intercede for us always. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who surround us with protection through the glorious confession of the martyrs St. Marcellinus and Peter, grant that we may profit by imitating them and be upheld by their prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of God, because of which the heaven will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace, and consider the patience of our Lord as salvation. Therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, be on your guard not to be led into the error of the unprincipled and to fall from your own stability, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn ba men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if you are strong, and most of them are fruitless toils, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
哈利路亚。The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing the hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him and said to him, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. And they were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so as we enter into ordinary time, as we understand that this is a time that pretty much covers a good half of the year, but what we do in the church is that we come and we take Jesus' teachings and we incorporate those teachings into our daily lives, into our minds, into our hearts, so that all that we think, say, and do, we glorify God. We hear in the last two or three weeks as we ended the Easter season that, you know, all that we should be doing is to glorify God, to grow in faith, to grow in trust in our Lord. And we continue to do this, especially as our readings remind us today that, you know, in our gospel reading, this is where Jesus and our God and everyone in heaven knows our intents. We know, they know that you know, where we come from in our heart, especially God the Father and Jesus as Lord. And so we get preoccupied or we get um, tangled in a lot of these things that could just be meaningless information. But what is it that we're called to do as disciples of Jesus Christ in today's world, especially in a world where so much chaos, so much um, um, disarray of information, in a, in a time when we're looking for a strong leader, let us always look to God and let us have that great confidence that God is in control of this. We may be distracted about what's happening today. You know, we have so much going on in today's world, you know, with this COVID-19 situation, and then recently now the riots um, with, that's happening in our cities. Where do we look to for leadership? Where do we really go to in our hearts to find that peace? Yes, God is certainly there in the midst of that chaos, but he's counting on us. He's counting on us to be the ones who find that structure, to find that order, to find all that we need to trust in him so that peace and love and joy can come about. God can certainly do it in a snap of a finger, he can do it at a moment's time, but because of his great love and trust in us, he expects us to use our own will and our own autonomy, our own independence to bring about those virtues in our society. And so this is where we have to make sure that we're not distracted in all of that so that we can continue to bring about that peace that is promised to us from him. But let us also call to mind that whatever concerns there are, as we heard in the gospel today, that when Jesus was questioned, he knew their intent. They wanted to trap him. And what does he do? He untangles their discussion. He untangles their argument. And he reaches for the truth. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but give to God what really belongs to God. And so if God is love and peace and joy and mercy, and all the blessed virtues in life, then let's return that. Because when we incorporate that in our lives, 
then we become instruments of those holy virtues. I pray and we pray always that you become the disciples of Jesus Christ, especially in today's world, a world that is in great need of our witness and of the truth. Amen. And so our Lord made us for himself and knows our needs and confidence. Let us bring our petitions to him. For the church, may the Holy Spirit instill in our bishops and priests the gifts of wisdom and holiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected and appointed officials, may God move them to enact policies that lead to the flourishing of all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are uprooted from their homes, may God protect them and lead them to safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the Lord allow his word to grow in us through our worship and service together, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the many petitions and intentions that we receive here at the Shrine and at the Missionary Association. We as a community of faith lift them up in our prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may the Lord welcome them into his peace and rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we are yours and we thank you for generously hearing our prayers. Grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingless water, why may come to share the video of Christ who humbled to share it our humanity? And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and country, I have accepted you, Lord. Christ in this I to the Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me of all my sins. And pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the God of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders to your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant them firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake into the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Edward, our Apostolic Administrator, Michael, our Bishop-elect, Stanley, our Bishop-in-residence, the clergy, the religious, the consecrated, and your entire family. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, under the title of Our Lady of the Snows, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Marcellus and Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And so coming together, living at our faith, living out Jesus' teachings, let us use the words that he taught us so that we may be one with our Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of that great peace, especially those who we carry in our hearts. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you will receive it, and it will be yours, says the Lord. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. <laughs>